difficult for developers to support multiple platforms, and it's very hard for end users to have the same widget experience on multiple screens. So with Nitro, you can design widgets in Flash for many targets. You can widgetize your existing Flash content and use our new Adobe services to make widgets portable and viral. So let's say I'm surfing the web. I come across a widget here. This is the uh, Sony Pictures widget, the purple one in the upper right-hand corner. If I have Nitro enabled on the desktop, I can take that widget and drag it directly onto the desktop. When I do, it becomes a widget. What you also see here, this gray thing is a dock, the Adobe Nitro dock. And it gives me a really glanceable view of all my currently installed widgets. It also is very dynamic. It's pulling some dynamic information in there and some text and also in the form of an icon, so you can imagine the current weather situation. If I don't like that gray, which I actually don't like that gray, I could take a photo and, and drag it in and change the look of my dock. Now, if I have Nitro enabled on my mobile device, when I log into my, my mobile client, either with an open idea or an Adobe idea or what have you, I get the same widgets. And that Sony Pictures trailer widget I took off the web page, dragged onto the desktop, is now appearing on my mobile phone, and when I go into that widget, it's the exact same widget that was living in the web page. Also, we're going to enable widgets on TV. Best use case here, of course, is video, so we can imagine something like a picture-in-picture -picture view of all your favorite channels. So let me get out of this and show you a working build of what we have here. I have Nitro running in a dock on my desktop. It's a very simple widget. I can go in and get the time, not very useful, kick out of there. So let me add another widget. Let's scroll down here and add a weather widget. It's going to ask me to launch it and set some parameters here. So 94103. It's going to give me sunny San Francisco, hopefully. If the network cooperates, there it is. I get extended forecast, so I can escape out of that. So let me launch our mobile, mobile emulator we have running on the desktop. It's going to ask me to log in. So when I log in, it knows who I am. And because it knows who I am, it's going to be the same synchronized widgets appearing on my mobile device. And yes, it's showing me that exact same widget that was on the desktop. So I'm going to add a widget from my mobile device here. Let's do a simple RSS widget. And I'll scroll down here and I'll set the title, My RSS. It's going to ask me for an RSS URL. I have one on this desktop saved here. And when I do that, it's going to load up all of my stories from the RSS feed. And of course, we'll support rotation as well. You can get that here. And kick back out of here and add one last widget the ubiquitous YouTube widget that everyone and their mother has <laughs> developed. Go in here and then make username 321nitro. When I do that, it's going to load up you know, top videos and all of my favorite videos, so my favorite music video. I can load that in as well. So that is Nitro. And if you are interested in creating widgets for our new widget platform, please email us at portablewidgets at adobe.com. That's portablewidgets at adobe.com. If you want to find out more about Nitro, come to my session tomorrow. Experiences at scale across devices at 2 p.m. Thanks.